Sometimes life surprises us with these flashes of insights. They seem to come out of like nowhere. Those aha moments, those epiphanies, breaking through the noise and offering us a new way forward. And this is one of those moments. We're being given a chance to see things differently, to think outside the box, to embrace ideas that just might change everything. So we'll feel an excitement in the air, a feeling that, well, if we're open to it, inspiration can strike like lightning, lead you towards breakthroughs that you've been waiting for. The key to your next step might just lie in a path that you haven't even considered. So join me as we embark on a journey of self-discovery, gaining an understanding of how to embrace this energy and move forward today and every day. So hi, I'm Tilly. This is Tara with Tilly. Thank you for all the positive, loving support you send me each and every day. Welcome to your Daily Focus, September the 24th, 2024. So we have the 24 energy today. The 24 energy is mainly a love energy. It's about being present. It is about nurturing the relationship, growing the relationship, growing the bonds within that relationship. And two plus four is a six. That has a lot to do with our habits, our behaviors, um, what actually supports us, what is in alignment with our future goals, dreams, and desires our successes, would we have those behaviors once we accomplish what we want to do or would things need to go? This is a time to understand what is not working for you and what is. And that could even be your routine or different parts of your environment. If we look at the daily numerology, nine plus six plus eight is a 23 energy. And the 23 energy is knowing that there is a higher power helping you to create this world that we are stepping into, this path we are stepping into. They may be whispering things to us, leaving us little clues or creating the events that we are to step into. Two plus three is a five. A five energy is about, well, giggles and laughter, dancing in the street. I mean, it's about joy, creating joy, being in the moment, being present and experiencing the joy of the moment. It's also about growing our creativity, allowing our inner expression to come out. Our sun is in Libra and our moon moves into Cancer just after the stroke of midnight. So Eastern Standard Time, of course. Uh, Mercury, Mercury trines Uranus today, which makes it a perfect time to embrace new ideas, try out new approaches, explore unconventional solutions. It's a time to step out of your comfort zone, especially when it comes to your thoughts or what you are communicating. Definitely follow your intuition, follow that gut feeling, trust in your, your intuition, in your instincts. Our conversations, our conversations will feel alive, more stimulating, and we can actually get aha moments and epiphanies through those conversations. Not to say that is the only way they will come in. But the, the more we are conversing about, you know, or brainstorming perhaps about what we want to do going forward, how to bring it together, we get those aha moments, those epiphanies. Now, it can be tempting to dismiss a more practical or grounded advice under this time or even taking a more grounded approach, but... You know, we'll have those sudden insights. We'll want to act on them. So we need to, once again, back it up, slow it down, keep a balance between our innovation and our realism, stay focused on what matters. And I think we actually, we actually might have to work a little extra, more diligently, I guess. Okay, to avoid any kind of distractions that could pull you away from your goals, your dreams. So even if you are just sitting there and imagining it, make sure you've turned off your cell phone. You don't have anything playing. You've got a do not disturb on your bedroom door, whatever it is. Okay, give yourself the time to reflect before making a decision. 
maybe journal, meditate on it. But it's also a time to get very creative. Okay, we can have unexpected opportunities for learning. This is a great time to step into learning something new, taking a course, a workshop, studying something, getting together with a group at the library that holds a like-mindedness with you. And be open, be open to new perspectives, new ideas, okay? Perfect time for brainstorming sessions. It's a perfect time for writing, journaling, blogging, creative writing. It's a time for innovation. It's a time to, I, I think I, I overused it here, but thinking outside the box, allowing yourself to see the world in a new light. So expect those aha moments, expect those epiphanies. Are you ready to embrace the unexpected? So let your ideas evolve into something bigger and bolder than before. Are you ready for that experience? Because there is this doorway to a new understanding that is opening for us. And perhaps today is the day that you step through it and see where it leads. So let's turn to the cards. Okay. Um, you know, in, in many ways, as I was rattling off the astrology and even the numerology, it reminded me a lot of the reading for the lunar eclipse in Pisces. So I think after I'm done this, I'm going to go back and revisit that, see how close I am to it. But I, I think, you know, that was a lot of being bold and taking bold steps and thinking outside the box that we haven't even, we may not even have imagined our new path forward or we haven't put certain pieces together. It's like a jigsaw puzzle and we can't figure out where the next piece goes and all of a sudden, Eureka, we know it. Okay cards. Our underlying energy for today is the nine of wands. Oh, I have to tell the story. I'm sorry. Okay. I have to tell the story because those wands behind you represents the path that you have walked until this moment in time. Now, they all started out very like the wand you're holding, a very stubby and twisted and gnarly, and there's no sign of life on it like the ones behind you. But all those wands started exactly like this one. It was you who created the strength, the beauty, the growth, the creation as you walked your paths gained knowledge, gained wisdom, gained understanding. We wear red, so it's about passion and courage. We wear white, so it's about new beginnings and new starts. And we're kind of weighing out the odds. We're kind of wondering, like, do I really want to step into this path? Do I really want to work this path? Okay. And you may not know it, but you may have walked, you know, certain paths in your life and you're like, I really don't understand why I ever had to go through that in life. What meaning does it have for my life? I, I don't know why I had to go through that chaos or that turmoil or that tension or that sadness. So A young girl was upstairs and she was making different threads and ropes, different colors, different strengths. And one day her father came into her room and said, daughter, it's time to pack our wares and, and go and sell them. And while we are at sea, we will look for a husband for you. And she said, okay, father. And she began to pack up all the threads and ropes and that she had made with all the colors, preparing them for sale. And they went on the boat and there was a horrific storm at sea. And she found herself being the sole survivor washed up on a sandy shoreline. And these two guards came seemingly out of nowhere and grabbed her and said, you're coming with us. And she went. And she was put for sale on a marketplace. And a man was looking at her and thought, you know, I could use her. I'd probably be able to give her a nice place. She seems like she's a nice person. So he bought her and took her home. 
and he showed her how to make different materials, different materials to, from silks to tarps and all different colors and patterns. And she went to work doing this. And one day he came in and he says, it's time for us to go and sell our wares. So please start packing everything up. And she started to pack up all the materials and the tarps that she had made to prepare them for sale. And they got on the boat and it was hijacked by pirates. I guess is hijacked the right word. Anyways, pirates took over the ship and they took her hostage and they put her in charge of making these the, the long poles for the sails. And those should, then she worked on the ship making these poles for the sails. And one day there was a horrible storm at sea and she found herself being the lone survivor of the shipwreck once again on the sandy beach. And she said, why? Why do you do this to me? Every time I feel like I've, I'm getting somewhere in life, I'm starting to make friends, things are opening up to me, you rip it all away and you leave me alone. Why do you do this to me? And as she's, of course, cursing the sky, this guard comes up, or these two guards come up and say, we have to take you to the emperor. And so she's like, of course you do. So away she goes to the emperor and the emperor says, we have a legend that there is going to be a woman that washes up to our beach one day and she can make the most incredible tents for all the world to see. And nobody has seen the tents that like she creates and she brings great riches to the empire and to the emperor himself. Are you that woman? And she thought about it for a minute and she said, yeah, I could, I could probably make tents. Wonderful. What do you need? So first she, she needed to make the, the tarps and he says, well, we don't have that kind of material here. Don't worry. I know how to do it. Then she needed the ropes and they didn't know that he gave her a team. She taught everybody. They made all the ropes. And finally it was time for the long poles to which they had nothing like that. And she says, don't worry. I know how to make them. And they made the poles. And it was erected and it was so colorful and dazzling and unique and wonderful. People came from miles around just to witness the beautiful tents. And it brought great riches to the empire and to the emperor himself. And she found herself sitting in front of the emperor again. And he says, my goodness, you have brought us riches and happiness and joy. How can I repay you? What can I do for you? And she thought about it for a moment. And she says, well, a very long time ago, I set out for sale with my father and we were going to get a husband. So I guess I'd like a husband. And he said, marry me. And she did. And, you know, the rest of the story kind of thing. So, you know, even though she was going through all these different paths in life and she had no idea how they connected, there was a divine plan. So that's really what, you know, it's, it's your, it's what you've gone through in the past that makes you very unique to having that aha moment, that epiphany now that you couldn't have had even six months ago. We have the four of swords, rest, recuperation, dream, imagine your tomorrow. Okay. Lay down your weapons, take off the, the armor, rest, recuperate, and grow your imagination. I think it's Einstein who says, uh, imagination is always uh, more important than knowledge because knowledge is limited and imagination is in infinity. So imagining what you truly want to bring in is really the first step in understanding, you know, getting that aha moment of how it can be possible how it can be something that is actually practical and doable in your life. We have the two of pentacles. The two of pentacles, you know, we have a pentacle on each hand. There's a ship coming in on each side. This is more of a card that says, it doesn't matter really what decision you make because, you know, if you're being pulled in different ways, every decision is a good decision. To not make a decision is a bad decision. Because the opportunity might whisk away. So I'm not telling you to jump headfirst into something. 
yes, we want to give it some consideration, but then there needs to be action after you've done that consideration. After you've come to a decision, you have to act upon it. Okay. To know and not do is to simply not know because it just can't be without your participation. And the Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles is a brand new path opening it to you. One of prosperity, one of great abundance, maybe great love. What do you see abundance as? What do you see prosperity as? Is it winning the lottery? Is it having a home and, you know, you're really not too worried about whatever bill is coming in because you have enough to cover it, that things are good? doesn't have to be fabulous, but good is good for you because you also feel the great prosperity and abundance when it comes from the love of your family, perhaps, or maybe your career and what you do, or maybe it's your volunteer work within the community and how it makes you feel and how you can give to people. And that kind of energy always comes back to greet you again tenfold at times. So a new path of abundance, of prosperity opening up. Oh, I have a book on the bottom. It's unusual for me. Okay. An oracle card. Hope and happiness, the 48, which would be what? A 12 energy? So the 12 energy is pulling it back, being more in the moment, understanding what we have control over, what we need perhaps to surrender to. Hope and happiness. Well, I... I kind of take that with the five energy that we experienced today then look at the beauty of that card okay you have reached a time filled with healing energy new progress and satisfaction you are at a point for festivity. The energy in this phase is supportive and promotes a feel of winning. Let worries and challenges of the past fade away as you focus on the joy that is surrounding you now. Feel encouraged and excited about the potential of all the wonderful promises that are being kept. Celebrate and enjoy your life. So yeah, very much the five energy, but it also says to let go of those worries, those concerns, because really they don't matter in the, in the great, plan okay the focus on your tomorrow does your focus on the present does because what are you doing in the present to promote that tomorrow to bring that tomorrow into being and yes allowing healing in and allowing your imagination to roam perfect for a day like today are just socializing and maybe you start talking about a certain subject and you 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 find yourself brainstorming with people without really you know meeting to brainstorm it it can happen a thousand and one ways keep your eyes open today ask yourself what does that mean for me freedom with the horse We do have a love of horses. Opened right up to the horses to it, Dad. Okay. Let's get our horse in there so you see him well. Freedom, transformation, free spirit, move, and courage. The secret of happiness is freedom. The secret of freedom is courage. Will you, will you step out of the, the, the comfort zone? Will you color outside the lines? Will you step through that doorway? Horse has a powerful message to share with you in regards of your time of transformation and newfound freedoms. Sometimes it's easier just to sit in your fuzzy PJs and hope that life will change. And yet you continue to allow yourself to be shackled away from your true spirit and your soul. However, horse tells you it's time to dream big. It may be the time to make changes within your current relationships, whether romantic or platonic. It could be that you feel stifled by your current career choice. Freedom doesn't mean that you have to give up your entire life, but instead allow your life to disconnect from the anchors tied around you. It takes courage, but the end result will be a positive one. Spend some time in nature, take in the feeling of the wind blowing through your hair, 
breathe in nature's goodness and just be. Just a few moments of solitude each day can allow your soul to reboot and clear itself from life's toxicities, freeing it in order to see the proper path. Horse could also mean it's time for you to move house locations into the country. Or maybe it's just a drive through the country. Maybe it's just a couple of moments, you know, looking in the horizon and seeing the, the country in the distance. Or maybe it's going on YouTube and just, you know, watching a video about a uh, you know, country setting. Whatever it might be, you know, go to a Halloween patch, a pumpkin patch right now and just look at all the pumpkins. You don't have to buy one if you don't want one. But, you know, maybe walk through the corn maze. Maybe look, walk through that sunflower field. Whatever might be available to you. Okay, get out in nature and see the beauty. Because when we see the beauty in things and we get out and we start walking, well, we automatically, after five minutes of a nice brisk walk, start to release dopamine and other chemicals to make us have that feel good, happy feeling. What happens when we do that? We raise our energy, we raise our vibration. And those things that were on a higher vibration level now open up to us because we took the time to laugh, to create happiness, joy, giggles, and smiles, to allow ourselves to be creative, to allow ourselves to think outside the box. Until we meet again, remember, I do love you.